Hello friend, it's Boris Legend here and today we have a fantastic video. In this video I will explain the mystery of custom tactics and show you which custom tactics took me to 157 out of 160 wins in for champions and made me world number one ranked player. And this is the custom tactics I use for all my formations and in all game modes. What is important to know is that custom tactics are not something magical. They can for sure refine your game style and make you better, but they will not make instant magic. What is important is to focus on your gameplay. However, this custom tactics that I'm going to show you is very balanced and have no restrictions, which allows you to put full focus on your gameplay and take it to the next level. First off, we have speed. Speed will determine how fast players will move up in positions in your build-up play. If you have one, they will move up very slowly and at 100 they will try to counter very fast. 50 is balanced and works brilliant, but I prefer 60 to have slightly faster buildup, which gives me good opportunities to both counter and to have a relaxed and calm buildup. Then we have passing. A high value will make your players go for long runs and a short value will encourage a tiki taka playstyle. But the AI in FIFA is smart and will determine the best solution in specific situations for your players. That's why I pick 50 to allow both short passing style and options for through balls. In structure we pick organize. This will determine positioning in your build up play, more particularly when you have the ball in your own half. An organized option make it much easier for a structured and relaxed build up play. Free form can sometimes make players run out of positions and give you a lack of solid passing options during your build up which can sometimes make you very stressed, so that's why we want to pick organized. All these three options below will determine chance creation. If you put everything on 100, they will run around like hens, and if you put everything on 1, they will play like Barcelona during Pep Guardiola. First, we have passing. This determines the risk in the player's supporting runs. A high passing is dangerous, because it will especially make your wingbacks run in attack even though you have them stay at the back but we want a pretty high value because a low passing value is easy to defend against and we want to confuse the opponent's defense with irrational runs so that's why i feel that 60 is perfect then we come to crossing in this game crossing is good but passing into the box is also very good if you put this value on one then your players will almost refuse to get into the box. But this is not only for crosses, but also their general will to get into the box. And we want to have the players in the box, because that's where the danger happen. If we put this on 50, the AI will make good options when to get inside the box and when to stay outside to receive a dangerous pass. So that's why we pick 50. A high shooting will make players run away from the defenders in order to get into shooting positions. If you use 100, it's sometimes hard to get options to pass, which will make you stress against good defensive players. And if you use 1 as a value, your attack will get very static. That's why I found that 70 is a nice value. You will keep good distance between the parts of your team. But you will also have a lot of dangerous attacking runs that constantly will threat your opponent. And we want to use freeform. Organize makes your attack rigid. Using freeform will give you better creativity in attack and will be more difficult for your opponent to read, as your players will make irrational runs in the attack in order to surpass it. However, organize can actually be used with success for balanced and already creative formations as 4 2 3 1. But in this case, we're gonna stick to freeform. In the defense, we want to keep the values as balanced as possible since we don't want AI forcing players to particular actions. This can make you stressed in the defense, especially during bad connection and delay. So we start with the pressure. If we pick 1, your defenders will stand in the knees of the goalkeeper and 100 will make them stand at the halfway line when your opponent is building his attack. A too high defense can create problems against fast strikers and too low defense can make you passive and easily dominated against possession style players. 
That's why I prefer somewhere in the middle. I'm using 60 which covers the depth very well but also gives a solid pressure against possession style players. Aggression determines how aggressive the AI will be in the defense. A low value creates a passive defense where they will just stick to the original position while a high value will make the AI take high risks in the defense. A high value in aggression sounds good but it can create big problems as your defenders can run out of position and a skilled player will find ways to pass through your defense. I'm using 60 which is balanced but still a little bit more aggressive as I always like to have pressure on the ball holder. Width determines how wide your defending line will stand, more particularly distance between every defensive players. A value of 100 will make your defense spread like planets in the solar system and a very low value can create huge problems against players with strong wing play. That's why I pick 50 which is balanced and works against all playstyles. For support we always want to use cover. Offside trap is very dangerous as the AI is forcing the players to keep a strict line. And remember what I said about AI forces in the defense, we don't want them. Remember that one single number will not make any difference. You won't notice any difference between 50 or 51. It's all mental. Instead you should think in group of 10s when you edit your custom tactics. This is the custom tactics I use for all my formations in both FUT and head to head and I love it because it's so balanced and it allows me to play in so many different ways which is important if you're gonna outsmart as many different game styles and opponents as possible. If you enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, until next time.